The disappearance of 19-year-old Ty Thomas gripped the metro area for years. Now Joshua Keedle is on trial for her murder. Good evening, I'm Jennifer Griswold. Senior reporter Jake Wazikowski is in Beatrice and tells us why prosecutors feel they have the evidence to convict. It's been nine years since Ty Thomas went missing at Peru State College. Nine years her family has waited for this day seeking justice. Currently serving a 15 year sentence for sexual assault, 38 year old Joshua Keedle is charged with murdering Ty Thomas of Omaha. Prosecutors say Thomas was upset, intoxicated and wandering near the Peru State campus when Keedle allegedly picked her up, told her he'd take her to Omaha if she performed a sex act and then refused to give her a ride. They say the motive was clear. Her, her reaction was she got mad and says, I'm reporting you for rape. We don't see her again. Prosecutors say he murdered her and dumped her in the Missouri River. Phone records apparently put them both at the scene and Keita lied to police multiple times. But the defense said there's no physical evidence that puts Thomas in Keita's car and he left her at the river alive. There is no way to, to determine with scientific or medical certainty how she died, if she died, if she's dead. Thomas's family members take the stand. Her grandmother says she talked to Ty at least every other day, but never heard from her after December 3rd, 2010. She even talked to Keetel when she went to Peru to help find her granddaughter. And then I asked him again, was she appear to be uh, intoxicated? Was she wobbling? And he said, no, ma'am, I didn't pay that any attention. Thomas's mother says she remembers how mm -hmm. Tyler always made holidays special and personal. What about Mother's Day? Yeah, she I would always get a card. She would always give you something very personal, something that you would definitely, you would understand, you would get it, you would love it. A Nebraska State Patrol investigator testified that at 125 on December 3rd, 2010, she was making phone calls and texting people from her phone. 215 that morning, her phone was going straight to voicemail and never made another call. Reporting from Beatrice, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now. The trial will continue tomorrow in Beatrice. We have more coverage on our website, 3newsnow.com.